the next thing that I thought I would do is um, to show and demonstrate some everyday tasks that um, we would uh, that team members would undertake in Greenhopper. So the first everyday task that I want to talk about is viewing a backlog. I'm back in our in our true Jira instance, and I'm going to go to Plan View, and I'm going to shut off the filters that we were previously looking at. I can deselect a filter, or I can clear all filters by clicking there. I'm going to um, collapse any of the open epics, and um, I'm getting a backlog view here. Remember, I'm looking at the EC1 board. So this is a backlog view specifically for the East Coast One team. And that we would see a similar view for any PDT or project-wide um, on this product backlog board. The backlog contains a series of bookmarks that help the product owners and I place tickets within groupings of prioritization based on milestones and sometimes based on, on uh, priority categories um, and help, help team members can, uh, situate uh, the tickets within um, you know, groups of, of work. So here I'm seeing a backlog bookmark for the, um, the top of the backlog and these are tickets that um, are near the top of the backlog that are, are likely going to get cleared out by the end of um, today by the East Coast team. They're showing here because they're in the current sprint and we didn't define that sprint in Greenhopper. We defined it in JIRA. But um, we then see... Back, milestone based backlogs so we have one that's rank ordered and and um, one that's not rank ordered um, I need to fix this this kind of got thrown off a little bit this morning but um, the product owners and I establish the rank ordering of tickets within milestones and then as new tickets arise we put them in this not rank ordered place and then integrate them into the rank ordered part of the backlog product owners and I do this by dragging and dropping tickets up and down um, this this list. Core team leads, um, since core teams like um, you know QA, UX services, tech uh, don't have product owners on them. Um, you know they work to define some team specific priorities that that you know I discuss with them. Um, so they can drag up and down to to manage their priorities. Um, and get those reflected um, in their team's board. Further down the list, I'm going to scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, we see there's an M8 bookmark, and eventually we're going to get to a series of bookmarks that are things like um, high, medium, low, that haven't been placed in a milestone yet things that are need to discuss that where the product owners or I need more information in order to um, make a ranking decision. Um, and eventually we'll get to an end of the backlog item here. Um, you'll see a lot of things that are crossed out here right now. Um, and all the teams and team leads are working on closing resolve tickets and those are going to go away once that happens. Some of what we're seeing in the backlog today is just a function of our of our transition from an old way that the backlog worked in the old Greenhopper to the new way. That's sort of viewing a backlog. And again, I can click a ticket and see detailed information about it. Um, I can see um, you know, a, uh, information about uh, a prioritization category that the product owners and I initially use in order to get a, an initial understanding of priority, but position in the backlog always trumps a value that's set here because um, we don't typically update this once we've, we've rank ordered it. 